Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and for everything. So I'm continuing the math series with another algebra topic, uh, polynomials. And last time we talked about multiplying them. Now we're just going to talk about factoring them, which I did mention a little bit. All right, I'm just going to take off the cap. So say, for example, we had an equation and it was like x squared plus 7x plus 6. How about that? So I'm just going to label each of these parts. This first part, right, would be a. So just imagine like, if there were a number here, we're just naming that a. This number would be b. And this number would be c. Just for future references, okay? So basically, how would we factor this? Well, factoring means to put this into two multiplied binomials, into a trinomial, three terms. So I'm gonna put little parentheses like this into two. Because whatever is multiplied in these two will equal this. So how would we do this, you might say? Well, we see that it's x squared. So that means the first two have to be x because x times x equals x squared, meaning we'd get this. Now for the rest of it, we just gotta kinda dink a little bit. So what can be, what multiplies to six but adds up to seven? I'm just gonna write down the multiples of six real quick. One and six, two and three. And that's all I got if I'm not flipping them. So one times six equals six, one plus six equals seven. So we could use the first one. So we, since they're both positive, right? And to add and multiply the positive, it'd be plus one. And over here, we can put plus six. So this is pretty uh, pretty easy. This this works when there's like no a, like one is the a, you know? I'm gonna put out another equation. If we had negative, right? Cause that happens. X squared minus X, how about minus two? Okay, so, you know, this is A, B, and C. I'm just gonna give you maybe, you can pause it, but we're gonna solve this together in three, two, one. Okay, so we're gonna put it into two parentheses. I just like to draw mine out before. It's easier to remember. So it's X squared, right? So these each are going to be X. And then over here, we need something that multiplies to negative two but adds up to negative x. Well, as we all know, whenever there's one x or one for the constant, we don't put it. So it adds up to negative one. I'm gonna write down the multiples of negative two. Negative one times two. Negative two times one, I guess, because I guess, yeah. Those are pretty much it, two doesn't have a lot. Negative one times two, check. Negative one plus two does not equal negative one. Negative two plus one does equal negative one, so we're gonna do that. Negative two can go here, and plus one can go right here. And so yeah, you can see this is pretty easy. And so I'm gonna put down one more question, then we can move on to when a is not equal to one. So let's see. Say we have uh, mm, 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 x squared plus 10, x plus 21 three seconds starting three two one okay so i'm gonna put my two parentheses and since it's x squared again and it, any variable if it was v squared then it'd be v times v right so don't get confused by that x and something that multiplies to 21 and adds to 10. let me write down the multiple of 21 this is positive, so we just positive. Three times seven, and for 21, that's pretty much it. Three times seven would work out, because three plus seven equals 10, and they're both positive. So yeah, as you can see, this is a pretty, pretty easy going one. But what if A was not equal to one? It's about the same process, but it's a little bit different. How, you might say? Well, I just switched my paper and I put two, okay. Well, say we had this funky looking equation and it's like five, five x squared plus 11 x plus two. Right, like this is gonna be A, now I can label it clearly, right? B 
and C. How are we supposed to do this? Because x times x does not equal 5x squared anymore, does it? So there's actually a really cool method that I find pretty easy called the AC method. I'm gonna write this down right here. The AC method. And how it works is basically, I'm gonna draw an X. X. And once I draw out this X, up here in this top section of X goes A times C. That's why it's called AC. So that'd be A five times C, which is two. So five times two is 10, you know, pretty simple math. And down here goes B, which would be 11. And these two portions goes something that, again, multiplies to 10, adds up to 11. It's gonna write down the multiples. If you can do this in your mind, you don't have to write them down each time, but not everybody's the same. One and 10 does add up, so I'm gonna just put one and 10. It doesn't matter which way you put them, just, it's okay. And so, we're going to, instead of writing 11x, we can write 1x plus 10x, you see? So let me do that. 5x squared plus 1x. And I'm writing out the one just so you can see what I'm doing. I mean, you don't have to ever. And I'm gonna split this boom in half because if it's a trinomial, it's gonna become like a quartonial. I don't know the real name. So, but yeah, I'm just doing this so you can tell. Okay, and now I'm going to factor out a number of each of these over here. I can factor out, can I factor out five? No, by factor out, I mean something that can be multiplied by both of these. In this case, I think something that can be multiplied by both of these would be probably x, like just x. So I'm gonna take out x. And we're gonna be left with x times what equals 5x squared? 5x plus one, bam. And for this one, we're gonna do the exact same. What can we multiply by these two? Nothing with x because two doesn't have it. But we can multiply them both by two, right? So plus two, since it's positive, times what are we left with? 5x plus one. And if you do this right, and normally this is gonna, these two are going to be the same. And then our answer would be one of these. So five X plus one times X plus two. So we're gonna put that as X plus two. And that's how you do it with this. So yeah, I just showed these steps separately, but don't worry, it's not as hard as it looks. So now I'm gonna give a few, now we're gonna solve a few more equations that I've explained it, you know? So say we had an equation that's like, 3x squared plus, I'm sorry if you guys can hear background noise because, you know, I'm filming in the middle of the day in like the open room. So if I had this, I'm gonna give you a few seconds and I'll write down the x. So I guess if you wanna join the computer, I don't know. I don't know what I'm thinking. Okay, three, two, one. Well, we know in the top portion goes AC and in the bottom one goes B. So, a times C is negative 45, you didn't click math, and B is four. Something that multiplies to negative 45, so be careful with that negative, and adds up to four. So I'm gonna write down the variables, not variable, but you know what I mean. I hope you know what I mean. Negative five times nine, and then we have negative 15 times three, and just flip them. So negative five times nine does work out, because negative five plus nine equals four. So yeah, I can write those down. And then I'll split it in half. And so I have, I like doing this, it says you don't know the parentheses, but. So now we have three X squared minus five X minus. And we have 9x, since we're splitting it, right? It's supposed to be added. Plus fifth, minus 15. I keep doing this, I'm so sorry. Minus 15, these are both minus signs. And so basically to do this, I'm gonna factor out the common, you know, common thing they're both multiplied by. And I think in this case, that'd be over here, probably just x, because three and five are, do not have the same thing. So if I take out x, it's x times three x minus five, because yeah. And over here, I can take out 
I can take out three. And it's positive. So plus three times three X minus five. And if you're ever not sure to take out a negative number or positive, just see if these two are the same after you take it out, great. But if one of their signs is different, then you should probably take out the other. So now we'll take one of these. 3x minus 5. And then we'll put these two together. x plus 3. So you see how that works? It's pretty, pretty cool. So I'll put down one more equation that's going to be pretty much it for today. Let's do... Um... Okay, let's do 10x, how about that? And plus 31, I'm doing some big numbers this time. Minus 14. I'll put out the x. And I'll even write down the ACB. Okay. Three, two, one. Okay, so now I'll solve it. 10 times negative 14 is 140. Negative 140. And this is just b. Something that multiplies to negative 140 and it adds up to 31. So I'll write down the multiples of negative 140 since, yeah. Times 140, we have negative 2 times 70, which does not work. We can do negative 4 times 35. Oh, that does work actually, negative 4 plus 35. So we'll do that. And then I'll split it up, right? 10x squared minus 4x. Haha, didn't mess up the signs this time. 35x minus 14. And then I'll just quickly do this thing, right? These both, uh, 2x can be taken out of both of them. 2x times 5x minus 2. And over here, um, 7. 7 can be taken out of both of them. Positive. 5x minus 2 and as you can see our answer is 5x minus 2 times 2x plus 7 okay so yeah that's pretty much it for today i'll just teach you how to factor if you enjoyed this video please be sure to like and subscribe for more math videos and a bunch of other things too because my channel's name is m for everything and yeah that's pretty much all the announcements that's it for today. Bye.